and now discuss a very very important concept that will be concept number 36 late extension and swap difference and here of course we will be talking about application of fedi rules so what is the meaning of extension of a forward contract we have seen that right suppose there is an importer who has already taken a forward cover of three months and this importer decides to extend the period of the forward cover the right way is to cancel the existing contract and take a new contract for that extension we have learned this we generally call this term other way as rollover of a forward contract correct you remember we have learnt it in earlier classes so extension is known here the term is not just extension it is late extension so what is this late extension and what is the role of this swap difference and most importantly what is the application of fedi rules we have to understand this whole thing so what i'm going to do is i'll explain this in a bit narrative form and you just try to understand whatever i am discussing after end of this whole narrative example i will put forward that example in the form of a question and answer so that you can note it down systematically it will be basically a recap of this in a summarized manner as of now you know as if you are watching a movie just watch just listen to me do nothing else you may use your calculators along with me if you want okay so let us begin our story in our story today that is 10th of june 2022 at this date there is an importer x limited this importer wants to purchase a machinery from one of the suppliers in the united states now the invoice value is us dollar 1 lakh and the supplier has given two months credit so today is 10th june 2022 two months credit would be june july and august so 10th of august 2022 will be the payment due date fine so machinery has been purchased invoice has been received now our importer company x limited has a foreign currency denominated liability that is denominated in us dollar and the invoice value is dollar one lakh this amount is payable not today but on 10th august 2022 two month forward and x limited has decided to take a forward cover for protecting its dollar payments so to hedge its dollar liability x limited has decided to take a forward cover so now our importer company x limited approaches the bank now when the bank is understanding the requirement of this importer for bank it's a brilliant opportunity because the invoice value is one lakh us dollar bank will definitely earn its own margin you know how banks earn margins in between because bank will secure a forward contract in the forex market for this importer x limited means there will be a chain of forward contract that is what we have seen earlier as well that bank will have a two month forward contract with the forex market that means some other bank in the forex market and whatever rate is applicable over there this bank as an intermediary will add some margin and provide the rate to this importer x limited so why to add margin do i have to really explain you again try to recollect here x limited is an importer so x limited will have a need to buy currency and when x limited has to buy the currency the real reference will be given to ask rate and bank will give reference to two month forward ask rate which is prevailing as an interbank rate interbank rate is a rate at which one bank will sell currency to the other bank right so this customer x limited which is an importer company that cannot buy currencies at those interbank rates so what will be the action taken by bank bank will pick two month forward ask rate prevailing in the forex market as an interbank rate add its margin and provide a quote to x limited so let us assume in this example that two months 
इंटर बैंक फॉरवर्ड आस्क रेट इन अदर वर्ड्स इंटर बैंक रेट फॉर टू मंथ फॉरवर्ड आस्क रेट वॉज प्रिवेलिंग एज रुपीज सेवेंटी नाइन पर डॉलर अवर बैंक इट हैज अ स्ट्रेट पॉलिसी ऑफ चार्जिंग अ मार्जिन ऑफ ट्वेंटी पैसा पर डॉलर वेदर द कस्टमर वॉन्ट्स टू बाय करेंसी और सेल करेंसी सो बिकॉज इट इज आस्क रेट यू आर गोइंग टू एड मार्जिन सो अवर बैंक विल परचेस यू एस डॉलर एट सेवेंटी नाइन फॉर टू मंथ फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट and will add 20 paisa margin so 79 plus 20 paisa that will make it 79.2 so x limited as an importer can enter into a forward contract to purchase 1 lakh us dollar on 10th august 2022 at an agreed rate today and today's agreed rate that is 2 month forward ask rate applicable to x limited that is rupees 79.2 per dollar so now parallelly two contracts got executed that means two contracts have been entered into one is the contract between forex market and the bank or i would say between our intermediary bank and other bank in forex market whereby our bank will be buying 1 lakh us dollar at the interbank ask rate of 79 per dollar and then eventually x limited will buy 1 lakh us dollar at the rate of rupees 79.20 in this whole chain of transaction if this contract is settled on its maturity date what will happen this importer x limited will pay 79.2 multiplied by us dollar 1 lakh that is indian rupee value of 79 lakh 20000 and bank will be buying this 1 lakh dollar by paying rupees 79 lakhs in the forex market bank will secure a margin of rupees 20000 for itself now over here there is nothing new that i am talking about right this is completely already understood by you in the earlier classes i am coming to the point now what happens on 10th august 2022 which is the settlement date on this date this party the importer company x limited comes to the bank and mentions one thing clearly let's see i don't want to honor this contract i have entered into a forward contract with you but i am not able to arrange funds for the payment and therefore i will not be able to honor this contract please arrange for cancellation of this contract bank says no problem welcome we will definitely arrange for cancellation you know why banks will welcome the cancellation also because bank is definitely getting an opportunity to earn something more now bank has a straight policy of charging 20 paisa margin per us dollar so bank immediately inquired find what is the rate prevailing as spot bid rate why spot bid rate because the original contract was to buy us dollar now to cancel that contract the applicable rate has to be the spot bid rate so the interbank spot bid rate prevailing on that date that is 10th august 2022 was rupees 78 per dollar because it is interbank spot bid rate bank will subtract the margin of 20 paisa so from 78 if you subtract 20 paisa you land up at a rate that is 77.80 and the rate applicable for x limited as spot bid rate will be rupees 77.80 per dollar now what happens x limited will cancel its contract by considering the cancellation rate of 77.8 per dollar and bank will cancel its original contract with the forex market at the interbank spot bid rate of rupees 78 per dollar now what happens here cancellation rate for x limited is 77.8 so if you are supposed to find out how much will be the cancellation charges that x will pay to the bank here comes the computation original forward rate agreed by x limited to buy 1 lakh us dollar was 79.20 now the cancellation rate is 77.80 so pick the calculator 79.20 is the rate at which x will buy 
and 77.8 is the rate at which x will sell for cancellation purpose and the difference between these two is 1.4 per US dollar multiplied by 1 lakh US dollar x limited will pay a cash amount of rupees 1 lakh 40 thousand for cancellation of this contract x limited moves out of the picture now bank has collected 1 lakh 40 thousand as cancellation charges from x limited when bank has to cancel the contract the cancellation rate applicable for bank was just 78 bank originally agreed to buy us dollar at 79 you remember two month forward ask rate as an interbank rate was 79 and the cancellation rate is 78 the difference is simply rupee 1 per dollar and that 1 rupee multiplied to 1 lakh US dollar that will give you rupees 1 lakh as cancellation charges that will be paid by bank in the forex market to some other bank whichever bank was involved in that forward contract now bank has recovered 1 lakh 40 thousand from X limited and bank has paid 1 lakh to the other bank for cancellation of its own contract now bank could save a net margin of 40 thousand for itself so basically 20 thousand for entering into that forward contract and another 20 thousand for cancellation of that forward contract so you might be wondering that sir all these points we have been learning right from the early stage why is that you are narrating the same story once again here comes the twist in the story so what is the learning over here what we extract from this x limited had to pay 1 lakh 40 thousand for cancelling its contract and bank had to pay 1 lakh for cancelling its contract with the forex market bank earned a net margin of 40 thousand now that was learned by you the point which is a twisting point in the story is what if what if what if what if on the settlement date x limited was supposed to come and honor the contract or x limited was supposed to come and cancel the contract x limited does not show up our banker is continuously trying to call x limited that where are you you are not responding to our calls x limited simply doesn't respond at all now what now the other bank with which our bank has entered into a forward contract at original two month forward ask rate of 79 that contract has to be responded compulsorily either you honor it or you cancel it nobody is going to wait for you because the due date has landed up so the question is why should our bank wait for x limited why can't bank also go for automatic cancellation here comes the role of fedai rules fedai rules is stopping our bank now fedai rules mentions one thing very clearly in case the customer does not respond at the maturity date of any contract you cannot go for automatic cancellation immediately you will have to wait for three working days you have to wait for three working days and therefore you cannot cancel your contract with the importer if the importer doesn't show up you wait now this fedai rule applies on our indian bank this has nothing to do with other banks in forex market which could be any other bank fedai rules does not apply over there so this bank has entered into a forward contract with other bank in forex market and that contract has to be responded on 10th august 2022 that is at its original maturity date either honor the contract or cancel the contract you cannot keep anyone waiting what will our bank do our bank will have to definitely cancel that contract because bank cannot honor the contract if x limited hasn't shown up so bank cancels its contract with the forex market and we have already computed cancellation charges i don't want to enter into the calculations once again so bank this time will pay from its pocket a sum of rupees 1 lakh correct earlier in the earlier version of the story bank collected 1 lakh 40 thousand from x limited and 
maintained 40,000 margin for itself and paid only 1 lakh as cancellation charges over there in the forex market. Here, bank couldn't get a single rupee from X Limited and bank has paid from its pocket a sum of rupees 1 lakh. The bank knows one thing, someday this customer X Limited will come. We will recover this 1 lakh as part of that 1 lakh 40,000, this 1 lakh will be recovered. And not only that 1 lakh, for any delays, any interest that arises on that delayed payment, that also will be recovered. We will look into that. As of now, on 10th August 2022, our bank has already paid 1 lakh in the forex market and cancelled that contract. Now, that is not the end of the story. FEDAI rules are emphasizing this bank that you cannot cancel your contract with X Limited. You have to wait for at least 3 working days. So, what can happen in these 3 working days? Suppose on 12th August, that is just after 2 days, somebody from X Limited approaches the bank and pleading an apology that please, sorry for the delay and inconveniences caused because of no response from our side. You know, we were busy in our audit. This happens, right? Though rarely, but this may happen. Now, they are pleading that we are sorry for the inconvenience, but fine. They came on 12th August. First thing that the bank will ask, boss, what you want to do? They say that we definitely want to honor the contract. <coughs> Trapped. If they want to honor the contract, FEDAI rules asks our bank that you have to stand in honor. You have to make sure that you honor the contract because customer came within those extra three days, extra three working days that were given as a grace period to that customer. Customer came within that time. You have to honor the contract and original rate at which the customer has booked the contract that was 79.2 per dollar. You have to arrange currency for the customer at 79.2 irrespective of at whatever rate you arrange the currency. This is something not justification, right? Not a justification, but FEDAI rules give complete protection to these banks also because ultimately if FEDAI rules are not giving protection to banks and authorized dealers, then dealers will not agree upon these rules, right? So, what kind of protection? See, all what I just mentioned could have happened on which date? 12th of August? 10th August, bank should have that vision that this company, X Limited, importer company, can come any day among next three working days and ask for delivery of the amount. We will have to provide them. If they say we want to cancel, we can cancel. But what if they say that they want to honor the contract? We will have to take the execution accordingly. Therefore, X Limited may come and demand the honor of the contract and settlement of the contract. Bank has to keep itself prepared. Now, suppose bank does not take any action and does not do anything on 10th August. Do you know what can happen? Suppose on 12th August, the interbank rate itself goes to rupees 80 per dollar. This customer that is X limited when it is approaching the bank and asking for settlement, our bank will be responsible to provide the currency at 79.2. And even though our bank is arranging at rupees 80, it will have to provide it for 79.2. This loss by bank is not being protected. FEDAI rules will not protect this loss because bank did not take any action suiting this kind of possibility. So, what could be an action? There is one and only one action taking a swap position. Now, here comes the role of swap position and swap difference. So, if the bank does not perform any action, no protection to the bank. If the bank is taking a swap position, protection will be given. Now, what kind of protection and what is this swap and what is this swap difference? What is this swap position? Let us try to understand one by one. So, on 10th August, the date when this customer X Limited did not show up, that same day, bank is aware of one thing that this customer can come 
and demand the delivery of the contract or demand the settlement of the contract and we might be requiring to do. So what this bank will do, bank will take a swap position. So what bank did for cancellation of its contract, it has gone for spot sell of 1 lakh USD to cancel the original forward contract of buy forward, correct? So original forward contract was buy forward our bank entered into a spot sale for cancellation of that contract. But whatever quantity of US dollar it has gone for a spot sale that is at 78, it will have to now take a swap position means enter into the nearest date forward contract so that those coming three days position can be covered up. So nearest forward contract. So in my example, if it was 10th August, one month forward contract which matures by end of August will be taken by bank as a swap position. Means what bank will do, it has gone for a sell spot and will parallelly go for one month forward. One month forward means not exactly one month from the date. It is basically that month end forward contract the bank will secure. Now what will happen? The swap position is planned this way that bank will sell spot and buy the nearest forward contract. I repeat, the bank will sell spot and buy the same at the nearest forward rate. Nearest forward rate means nearest term. Making sure that the nearest term should cover at least three working days. So if it was not 10th of August, even if it was 20th August, you can take a contract that expires on 31st August, correct? That is the end of August anyway. So what was this swap position that the bank had entered into? Sell spot and buy one month forward. Sell spot and buy one month forward. Why was this swap needed? Because if you don't do this, you will be not compensated for any loss that may arise to you. If there is a gain, no problem. If there is a loss, FEDAI rules do not allow the bank to charge that loss on the customer. But if there is a swap difference, FEDAI rules are allowing the bank that you can recover that from customer. So let me input one more detail over here. Assume that for the purpose of this swap arrangement, the nearest period that was August expiry forward contract, suppose the forward ask rate was 78.50. So bank has already sell spot US dollar at 78 but parallelly agreeing to buy US dollar at 78.50. Per dollar, it is taking a burden of 0 0.50 in terms of Indian rupee. So Indian rupee 0 0.5 per US dollar will be the load that bank has to take additionally because bank has committed in the forex market that fine, we will be buying this 1 lakh US dollar in this coming time and the rate agreed is 78.50. So if you are selling dollars at 78 and agreeing to buy the same dollar at 78.5, that difference you are going to bear as a loss, right? Selling at 78 and repurchasing the same at 78.5, you are going to bear a loss. That loss is called swap loss and that loss the bank is allowed to recover from the customer. So now with this swap position, what all bank can do? bank will ask this customer that you pay for cancellation charges. Secondly, you pay for any interest on outlay of funds if you have made any delay. And third, you also pay for this swap difference. So let me put some more information over here. Our customer X Limited, that is the importer in this example, approaches the bank on 12th of August, that is two days immediately after the maturity date. Now X Limited says boss, I want to cancel this contract. I want to just cancel this contract. Please tell me what I have to do. Three things. Number one, you first pay your cancellation charges. That part of cancellation charge, I have already shown the computation some time back. It will be 140,000. But now do you know what happens? This 1,40,000 bank could recover from X Limited on 12th August and bank had to pay 1 lakh as cancellation charges in the Forex market on 10th of August. For two days, that is from 10th August to 12th August, bank's money got blocked, right? So 
if 10th August this customer would have approached and mentioned the fact very clearly only one charge was payable cancellation charge bank would have received 1 lakh 40 thousand paid over there 1 lakh bank would have retained margin for itself as rupees 1 lakh 40 thousand minus 1 lakh that is 40 thousand because of this delay bank had to pay from its pocket rupees 1 lakh bank got blockage of that 1 lakh for two days bank will charge interest on that so bank will charge interest at whatever rate prevailing let me assume in this example that the interest calculation on that 1 lakh rupee of outlay of funds for two days is just rupees 100 so bank will recover first of all 1 lakh 40 thousand as cancellation charges it will also recover interest on outlay of funds that was for two days delay as suppose rupees 100 so 1 lakh 40 thousand is one component then 100 rupee is another component and the third component bank will say to this x limited that idiot if you wanted to cancel this contract why didn't you tell us on on 10th of august itself we would have cancelled it you would have saved you would have saved your swap difference we would not have taken swap position unnecessarily for you now this x limited is asking bank now what is this swap difference just the way students are asking me sir what is this swap difference this x limited will ask the banker what is this swap difference banker explains to x limited and i am explaining to you please carefully listen to me because bank was at an uncertainty correct bank was at an uncertainty on 10th of august that anything can happen this x limited can come after two days and demand the delivery of contract or settlement of contract then our position we have to first secure and as per FEDI rules if you do not take a swap position the difference in rates if it is becoming a loss for you it will not be compensated as a result bank had to take this swap position because bank has to make sure that it is providing that delivery at the originally agreed rate of 79.2 of course these charges will be payable but the contracted rate that rate cannot be altered that is what meaning of that extended three days right now if this is going to happen x limited will have to pay that swap difference so now x limited is willing to understand okay we understood what is swap difference now how much swap difference we have to pay they will show in their records that see that day we sold one lakh us dollar at spot rate of 78 and we had to take a buying position the same day at 78.5 to make sure that your contract remains alive your contract remains alive it will not remain alive just like that because fedai rules asks us to wait the forex market won't wait for us nobody will wait for us we are waiting for you this is this is the cost of your irresponsible attitude by making this delay of two days that 50,000 you have to pay as swap difference how 50,000 difference between 78 and 78.5 because at 78 what happened sell spot and buying the nearest period one month forward was the forward ask rate of 78.5 that difference the importer x limited will have to pay as swap loss because bank has suffered a loss it will recover from x limited who is the customer for the bank as i promised you that all this i'm going to narrate in the form of a story first and then put it forward on screen as a proper systematic question and solution so that you can carefully take note of that so while i put forward that example you should use your brain and start recap of the whole example and by the time we end up this entire example you should have complete clarity on late extension and swap difference.